I'm Weatherbug Meteorologist Miranda Hilgers back here once again with your extreme and severe weather outlook. It was a stormy start to the day in the Houston metro area. Noticing the sunrise with the clear skies to start, but quite quickly overtaken by a large squall line of thunderstorms that rolled through the area and brought some heavy rains and gusty winds to the region. Just one more storm in a long string of severe weather that's brought us some incredible size hail and very deadly tornadoes. From El Reno, Oklahoma, our friend Jay Eisenberg on Facebook sharing this handful of hail with us. And of course, the damage was devastating in St. Charles County, Missouri and elsewhere around the central and southern plains after some very strong storms rolled through this earlier this weekend. Luckily, in the past 24 hours, the storm reports have primarily been wind damage and some hail into central Texas, so no tornadic activity in the past 24 hours. But we uh, do have a slight chance for more as we head through the rest of today and into tomorrow. The satellite and radar picture showing some stronger uh, rain, sh rain showers coming across portions of the Great Lakes and into New England. And this whole frontal system is going to continue its march towards the Atlantic coast. There's those strong cells rolling through Houston earlier this morning. So far, no substantial storm reports coming out of these cells but again we'll watch for any wind damage there now our northeast is under a severe weather threat for the rest of your sunday from caribou back through burlington and even down into the virginias washington dc and philadelphia may need to take shelter and lots of rainfall expected out of these cells as well and back down to the southwest albuquerque and southward into roswell carlsbad and el paso texas under the gun for severe weather through the rest of our sunday as well now the future cast model shows that frontal system continuing to push towards the atlantic coast meanwhile a little disturbance rolling through the southwest is going to be responsible for those showers and thunderstorms out that direction but sandwiched between the middle of these two some much clearer drier air which is definitely what we need especially for the cleanup efforts around places like Oklahoma and into St. Louis Missouri stay tuned to weatherbug.com for more